Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel Us. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like these. In today's video, I'll be showing you a little terrarium DIY that I made for my friend because she moved into a new house and it's a housewarming gift. So first off, you're going to take a bowl. If you're using cacti, you're going to need an open air bowl, a spoon, some medium pebbles. This is to help shape and decorate the terrain, some soil, and some sand because I use cacti they like multi layers and then some cacti if you're not used to handling them I would also definitely recommend that you get some tongs or some gloves as well first off you're going to take a simple bowl like I said if you are using something like a cacti they really do need a lot of air so that's why I chose something that is open at the top not like a glass lid that shuts over like a lot of terrariums you're also going to want to try and choose cacti as small as possible because when they do get too big and their roots are too long you will have to transplant them out so I basically place the rocks down the bottom and then I'm placing some soil over the top of that. Each time I want to put a plant in, I'm going to dig a small little indent in the soil and then I'm placing sand over the top. So you can see they're just creating a little hole and then I'll pop the plant in, just making sure that its roots are actually sitting in the soil. If you can get cacti smaller than this, it would be even better. I feel like that big guy's gonna have to go pretty soon after I give this to Kirsty. So the pebbles down the bottom help shape that terrain. As you can see, it sits up higher in some areas and lower in others, which I wanted. I wanted it to look a little natural, a little like dunes. And then I'm popping some of those pebbles on the top as well. It's really simple and you can get pretty creative with this and kind of make any style that you wish. Not all terrariums have to have the open lid, so feel free to play around with the plants. Just do some research on which ones you're gonna use and see how hardy they are and how much water they need. I'll catch you guys in my next video, bye.